Hello everyone, welcome to day 19 of this year's Lenten devotional series. I hope all of y'all are doing well and uh, reflecting on the Word of God during the season of reflection and learning. For today's passages, we will be looking at Numbers chapter 12 verses 1 through 16 and James chapter 4 verses 1 through 17. I encourage y'all to take a moment, read these passages on your own, just so that we can get a better understanding of what God is trying to tell us from these passages here today. To start us off, I first want to look at the passage from the book of James. And James is writing to the early Christian churches during this time period. And in this portion specifically, he speaks about the friendship with the world and how it is against what the will of God is for us. Especially, I think the reason why this message it resonates with us during these times is because of what we see around us, the situations that we see. It helps us realize that the problems, conflicts, and disputes that we face is actually because of our own wrong and selfish desires. And we become so angry thinking that we're not getting what we want or um, God is not giving us what we need. And this is actually not true at all we blame god for no reason because this is not what god had in store for us and um this passage it emphasizes the fact that it doesn't it's not possible to be a friend of the world and of god together because it is two contradicting forces and oftentimes we can miss that especially in chapter verse 4 it says do you not know friendship with the world is enmity with god Therefore, whoever chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. And the reason why I think this passage from James is so beautiful is because it gives this problem, but then it gives us a solution as to how to deal with it as well. And it says that in order for us to avoid straying away from God's will for us, we need to, in verse 10, it says, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt you. And this is the part that we struggle with, humbling ourselves enough to accept that God's plan will work for us at his own time. The second part of this passage talks about how we must refrain from judging those around us, how we must refrain from speaking evil and judging our brothers and sisters because we're not perfect. We have our own sins, our own flaws, and Therefore, we have no right to do so. And we need to understand how the only judge is God because he wrote the law and he is perfect in all ways. Uh, well, as we talk about this, I want us to take a quick glance into the book of Numbers from the Old Testament. And we see that in this chapter, it's specifically, it's about how Aaron and Miriam, they um, become jealous of Moses because God only entrusted him for his purpose. And then because of this jealousy, they're quick to judge Moses for his decision of marrying Zipporah, who was a Cushite woman. And it was unacceptable during those times. So we see that how all of this jealousy of and made them judge Moses. And now there's this new conflict which wasn't there before just because of the wrong and selfish desires of Aaron and Miriam. And then we see how God punishes Miriam with leprosy. And then Aaron asks God to heal her. And even though this judgment was inflicted on Moses, Moses humbles himself and asks God that he heals Miriam and God listens. It is not that he does not listen and he does listen and he says that, yes, he will heal her in seven days. So we see how these two passages from the New Testament and the Old Testament, they work together to create this clear picture as to how we need to live our lives. We see that we need to be able to live our lives according to God's plan and humble ourselves enough despite that the effort that it may take to not um, judge those around us for all of the flaws that they may have. And we need to know that this Lent season, we can have this active effort of humbling ourselves to that state, to be able to realize that despite all of our flaws, all of our sins and not the sins of those around us, we have a faithful God who will exalt us in all ways possible. And know that he will make us reach the place where we need to be through his plan at his own time. 
I hope that you continue growing in your walk with Christ this Lent season, and I hope you have a blessed week ahead. Thank you.